gonna find myself a guy. <laughs> the band's had a little too much to drink. Hey, Carl. Yeah, Ron. Here's a little riddle for you. All right. What kind of bird always says the name of our next band? Oh, I guess, uh, turn? <laughs> an arctic turn? And what sound does an arctic turn make? That's it, boys! our next band on this series. <laughs> For any announcement at home, swallow before you speak. God. I'm absolutely fine, thanks. People aren't going to buy the CDs if you keep doing that. Sure they will. You know why? Because I was doing a punk thing there. What? Oh, I was. I belonged to a punk band oh, in Canada. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, we were called the Nutty Boys. Because we're polite, we didn't want to get really nasty. I didn't know what you were doing. It sounded like you were just choking. No, I was doing a punk thing. <laughs> <laughs> and why was I doing a punk thing? I guess because you're going to give us a new title of a new song. A great punk song. That was all about lunch ladies. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear what the title of it is? Why are you doing an old sea captain now? Give the title of the song. <laughs> the title of the song. <laughs> the title of the song is. Don't want your milk. <laughs> Yesterday I saw the infant world My eyes go round and it was unfurled I went to the picnic and it was bad I had a deviated septum and it made me mad I saw bugs and bugs and bugs and bugs And those bugs seemed like they were on some drug They kept on crawling on me like I was a worm And then I had to do the ant worm squirm oh But first, have we got an offer for you. As long as there's been ant farms, there's been music about ant farms. <laughs> and if that isn't the truth, it would be a lie. It doesn't take anything like to shut up, mate. I don't want your milk. Oh, 
Sometimes it's such a hassle, but I'm so happy I'm married. I guess that's why you've done it eight times. <laughs> well, you're Canadian. That's only five to you. That's true. <laughs> you know, marriage is a wonderful thing, especially to a woman. Hey, Colin. Yeah, Ryan. What sound does a goose make? Huh? And what sound does a fish hitting a windshield make? <laughs> Well, you got the first part. Honky. Honky. Tonk. The sound of a fish. Tonk. Honky tonk. Nice segue. I was thinking more of funk. Oh, I love honky tonk. Oh, I tell. I, oh. Well, if you want a wedding but you can't afford that can make it cheaper Have a cash bar and make everyone pay And then save some money, make them all go away Let me come right over here behind the camp. Ow, shit. It's always funny until someone gets hurt. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Two flies are on a piece of shit. One fly cuts a fart, and the other fly says, Hey, I'm eating here. Care to come sit in my cockpit? Looking for a one night stand? Look at the size of this pecker. Now that you're in my cockpit, do you mind if I eject? All the ladies say, blow, Satchmo, blow! And this is just my head. This is my friend Gord. <laughs> no, he's a great pumpkin. Ah, screw it. Feel like I've just been laid. Don't worry, I brought a Trojan. <laughs> Happy birthday, now blow me out. I also have two in the bush. Yeah, well, I'm hung like a horse. I'm Eric Estrada. <laughs> I'm looking for a few good men. Want a bone? Well, I'm a Klingon by trade. But when I'm not funny, I sit here with this fucking thing on my head. How about taking a trip around your anus? I, I'm, I'm sure it does work, but I think I'll just take the condom. Thank you. Oh, I won't need you. You can take a break. Thank you. Fucking looking thing, isn't it? They're gonna play a game with you. See you after that. Hey. <laughs> this is the day of the word. <laughs> hey! But...
hundred points, two hundred points, five hundred points, thousand points, five thousand points, ten thousand points. I have no porn points to get. <laughs> Ever since I saw Boogie Nights, you know. I don't file my taxes every single year. I guess it's the IRS I really, really fear. I guess that's bad of me to show a lot of class. But every time I do, they seem to fuck me up the ass. <laughs> 500 points to Ryan for giving the censor something to think about. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, nobody is funnier when they're pissed off than Ryan Stiles. But nobody. Try sleeping at night, everybody. Get this out of your head. How do you want to do it? We'll be right back to Happy Waldo and the Salty Monkey. <laughs> but first, have we got a deal for you? Yes, we have, Colin. You know, songs of garbage have made people happy throughout the world for years and years. And nowhere do they love their songs of garbage more than in Jamaica, a little country down south. <laughs> the way the waiter blew me, I think that he was gay. Thought that he was gay. <laughs> Hey, speaking of images, you'll have to go to therapy to get out of your head. <laughs> so I checked off on my salad, checked off on my salad. So my, that's where the cameras can't see what I'm going to do to you. <laughs> I'm a bunny on Viagra. I don't think you have it on right. So I said, if you can do that, I'll shit cotton. When it comes to hold downs, I'm doing another one. After the first one, I thought that I was done. Feel like such a fool, and I feel like such a twit. This is what I have to do to please the fucking Brit. points to me. I'll never get that out of my head. Good evening. I'm Jezebel Spankbottom and welcome to the 12 o'clock. And I shall make a British asshole appear. <laughs> oh, boy. Everybody's going for the juggler tonight, whoa, man. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. So we'll meet the winner and they'll get to play a game. Come, Come here, I got some. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stupid English son of a... I'll tell you what. It's time for the hoedown! Because I love cocaine. <laughs> Hello, I'm quite hung. And... I'm a hoeing and I'm a downing. <laughs> Keith, can you put this somewhere for me? <laughs> I still have the one you gave me yesterday. Look weird on camera. <laughs> oh, I got home my wife. I gave her a good. Let me tell you. Whatever it is, it's got six dicks. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my ass is hurt. Come here. Come here. You know what I want. Get down there. Oh, yeah. 
Whatever it is, it's got five dicks. A thousand points each for keeping it clean. I'm really, really sorry. Don't you think a hug is in store here? I've had Drew's ass, and now I want more. <laughs> now we're going to a game called Props. This is for uh, all of you. They're going to divide... <laughs> I don't think we should be watching this. <laughs> a lot of people said rap, but I wanted a style of music. Uh, what did somebody say? Jeff Ross said, Drew Carey is to comedy what Mariah Carey is to comedy. Well, Ryan, let's hear the album uh, Songs of the Lifeguard. We interrupt your movie, Men and Back, for just a few moments while we tell you about a special offer. Call. I'm kind of tired. What are you taking? <laughs> oh, fuck you, then I will. You know, we've got many CDs on this. I don't know if you knew this, but we have a campus minister and a 17-year-old in the audience. Hey, you wanted the free tickets to see a TV show. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> bit slower, but a bit more up. Slower and more up. Yeah. I hear that. Buy a nickel for every time I heard that. <laughs> slower and more up. <laughs> Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm Luce Bowles. And now with the circus report. <laughs> Kissing everybody on the lips. Grabbing bread. Good thing I'm sitting down. This show would be canceled. Is this the easiest way to take this elephant's temperature? And welcome to Whose Line Is It Anyway, the show where everything's made up and the points don't matter. Uh, for uh, this other go... <laughs> Sorry, I can't even talk. This is how the game works. Uh, what happens is, uh, it's not even a game. This is how the show works. I kill myself. <laughs> and you get to cheer me on as I lop off different parts of my body. <laughs> when my, down to my penis, and just my penis is hopping around, the game ends, the penis awards the points, and then you carry off the bloody penis on a stick while marching around the town square. I think we got it. Greg, you're going to start, and then Ryan Collin and Wayne are going to come in, and each new superhero will be named by the person on the stage right before them, so they're going to name each other. Uh, now I need a, a crisis for not hot but still spicy man. No more Cheetos! No shaving cream. No more shaving cream. That is a crisis. No more shaving cream. Thank goodness you're here, ridicules people behind their back, boy. It's okay to be here. Thank you. All right. What's up with the hair? Crisis monitor. <laughs> There's no more shaving cream. No more Everybody shaving cream. That's right. Everyone will look like Merlin Olsen. I hurried over as quickly as I could. Thank God, Captain Panic. What? <laughs> oh, nice. What are you, Moose? <laughs> relax, relax. It's not you. <laughs> what? God, you're making me nervous. You're getting me hot, and I'm not hot. Uh, I'm spicy. There's no shaving cream left. <laughs> but, uh, have some candy there. Uh, 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 <laughs> if you were an appetizer, what would be your ingredient? Well, I'd be served over ice, I know that. Uh, before I answer that, I just ask this couple right here, where are you from? I've never been there, but I hear it's beautiful. Iceberg ahead. Why are we heading towards the iceberg ahead? The rats are coming up from down below. Thank you. That's lovely. Thank you, Bachelor Number Thank you very much. You married? Yeah. All right, Bachelor Number One, back to you. Yes, I'm still here, even though not many others are. <laughs> Listen, sometimes when I 
read, I get dizzy. Oh, I know how you feel. What makes you weak need, bachelor number three? Weak need, I guess, well, first of all, I'd like to thank my band for sticking around. <laughs> and then I'd like to say, let's lock the Irish behind the gates. <laughs> Don't let the Irish up. Throw the <laughs> off the raft and take it for your day. But watch this first. Right. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm getting a little drunk off the line. One more time. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Just put that in my mouth. Okay. I really shouldn't because I'm diabetic. But That chocolate, I always bite half of and put it back. <laughs> there we go. Cigar. I'd love a cigar. <laughs> Let me. I can barely reach it. My back is so bad. Cigar. <laughs> Let's try that again. You know, I prefer my cigars oh. dipped in ranch as well. This is really, you're really turning me on. I can't touch you. I've got ranch all over myself. What do you mean you can't touch me? What's... We're going to get a little meat and we're going to make another little sandwich. Oh, okay. A little meat. Oh, hey, that reminds me. i got to return boogie nights. You know what I'm saying? This is enough. It's enough. Don't worry about that. Here, you have a half and I'm going to have a half Thank or two. You. There we go. That's cool. Mm. Mm. You really like that. I bet you got the skin on it, too. <laughs> what are you doing? You should chew the meat off of the skin. Watch. <laughs> well, the meat. <laughs> oh, this is a traditional, wherever country we are, sandwich. Oh, oh. don't, Ralph, please. <laughs> I didn't know our customs would be so different. You have hugs, Ralph. Ralph. Here, I'm sorry. Here. Ralph. Mm. <laughs> you guys are going to be on an infomercial trying to sell us a new miracle product that cures snoring. But you have to use everything in the box as part of the pitch for the commercial. Do you have a snoring problem? Oh, oh I do. I bet. Do airports complain when they hear you sleep? <laughs> well, we're here to help you out. Sometimes I snore so bad it gives myself gas. <laughs> but we're not here to sell you anything on that. No. We're here to help you with your snore. Get out. Okay, you're way ahead of me. What Colin does is attach this to his nose. This way we can artificially reproduce the snoring technique. It's not an easy thing to do, but it's something that has to be done. How's that feeling, Carl? <laughs> Put it back in. To make it really effective, we have to block the other canal. I can feel it coming right out here. Now, this is one of the most important devices in the anti-snoring kit. And Colin's going to explain how it works. This is, of course, the nose clamp for those giant noses where nothing else can be used. Where can we find a giant nose? Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, hey, that works good. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you, Bachelor Number Three. How to 
make a decision quickly. Vivid childhood memory. Um, I, I don't have any memories right now. I'm sure any date with you would be a blast. Okay, thank you. Uh, bad songs to sing while making love. I can't remember your name. <laughs> and it goes in and out and in. Uh, adults who are still experiencing the terrible twos. Jim, I've made a decision on that promotion. <laughs> Unusual acts performed on talent night at the convent. Welcome back to Whose Line Is It Anyway? The show where everything's made up and the points don't matter. You know how that's going to look coming back from a commercial and you're like, woo! <laughs> Bad times to take off your pants. <sighs> Scalpel. Weird things to time. Weird things to time. <laughs> Unfortunate moments to become nauseous. <laughs> Scalpel. <laughs> Inoffensive words that immature people are prone to snicker at. Oh, you're from Saskatchewan. What part? Saskatoon. Oh, I'm, I'm from Regina. <laughs> Inappropriate elementary school field trips. <laughs> okay, kids, gather around. It's twenty dollars for a lap dance. Thirty for you. Weird places to find advertising. <laughs> Must have been a short ad. Uh, I wish I hadn't said that. I apologize. Because <laughs> the next paper says, Little known but amazing facts about Drew Carey. <laughs> Did you know at first Drew Carey turned down the role of Geppetto? <laughs> I have the power to hire and fire. <laughs> Inappropriate emergency calls to make to 911. Yes, you can help me. Do brown shoes go with blue slacks? Jail. Okay, we'll do the zoo. Oh, a zoo. That's a better one. A zoo. It's just a jail for animals. <laughs> zoo hoedown. Melba Moore Hall. Take it away. What are you a zoo is a place I don't want to be. All of the animals really frighten me. Here comes a hippo. Oh, no, it's kind of scary. Oh, it's not a hippo. It's just Drew Carey. Inappropriate times to show off your stomach muscles. Okay, that's a thousand points for call. <laughs> Things that would make you suspect your doctor did not graduate from medical school. Cough. <laughs> Since you don't have any real props to work with, as you guys as the pops. So whatever they say you are. 
Dave has to become. So we picked the two most senior Maybe they'd like to put a coat on or something at this party. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Thanks, loud mouth. Uh, the scene is, a newlywed couple is gambling in a Vegas casino just before retiring to their elaborate honeymoon suite. I know we should get up to the room, but can I just play the slots? Yes. I think I need a drink first. All right. Hey, would you like a milkshake? Yeah, would you mix me something? <laughs> oh, I dropped it. Right. We better get our bags. <laughs> Yes. And the land where I come from, we are very traditional. What is one of your strange traditions that you have? Well... I'm just leaving a little time so everyone can read the novel that is my suggestion. And sleep! Relax! I will find that special someone. Sleep! <laughs> squeaky, 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 I'll find you someone lighter. A trilogy. Yeah. Uh, he was a hypnotist. No. <laughs> he was a hypnotist who wanted no. people to find true love with each other. Well, it says here he was a witch who entices the beast to her magic sleeping stool, and then <laughs> must find his true love to break the spell and turn him into a prince. So you were wrong, my friend. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong. Uh, professions where breaking into song is discouraged. <laughs> We're gonna fry you this morning, fry you this morning. <laughs> Things that make the audience boo. <laughs> Colors your poo in the morning. <laughs> you simply wait for traffic, then you push the old lady. Push the old lady. Looking for applause on that one. I was looking for uh, mundane activities that might be improved with nudity. <laughs> the cheating hoedown. <laughs> Laura Hall, take it away whenever you're ready. I cheated on my wife with her sister and her mother. I also slept with her cousin and her brother. Boy, when she heard, boy, did it sting her. The good news is next week we're on Jerry Springer. Drew, you are a high school student, and Ryan is an arrogant Frenchman giving you a lesson on French culture. No. Let me teach you a little bit about the French Yeah, what's way. this crap right there? This is escargot. <laughs> it's French for snails. Who? Oh. Escargot. Escargot. <laughs> no, the bread over here, the big long bread. There we go. This hey, helps. remind you anyone you know? I'm kidding you. I'm a kid. They put the pan down. They put the pan down. We rip the bread in half. Oh, this is how we do it. We don't cut it with a knife in France. We rip it apart. Rip it apart. Really? How do you do it in Italy? <laughs> half for you. Oh, thanks. Half for me. Now, uh, what's this green thing? Oh, <laughs> oh man. That's, that's, that's a it. sharp bread. <laughs> yeah. What's a what? That's a sharp bread. What's this green stuff? Those here? are frog leggies. 
No. Oh, yeah. Right now, there's a bunch of froggies going, how do I get here? How do I get here? You, know? you want to get tasty? No, 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 thank you. All right, me neither. Oh, yes, I guess I do. Oh, man. Oh. I can Now, what kind of cheeses are these? What do you... French love cheese, don't they? Oh. Would you like a towel? You know, I like don't like those frog legs. I think it's the hops. You know. <laughs> Famous film roles as played by Scooby Doo. <laughs> oh, Rasta Marista, really? <laughs> Things you don't want to hear your grandmother singing about. Mm, I put rat poison in the Christmas dinner. <laughs> I like to be on top. <laughs> yeah. Let's hear it for her. That's originally how I hurt my back. <laughs> yeah. Just to say. I don't know about you, I gotta I I watch that all day. You could sneak her on the plane in your carry-on. <laughs> Imagine the guy in the video thing. <laughs> I'm gonna put on my big parka. Alrighty. <laughs> yes. Hey, you know what? <laughs> yes. You know what? What? I got one that looks exactly like that. Do you? Yeah. Examples of the world's worst dating service video using the hats and props that are in the box. Right, I'd like to throw you down on the bed because you're a beauty. You don't see girls like you too often. You must be like this. Isn't she lovely? Kill me. Care to have a frog in your throat? I don't have one, I'm just really hungry. <laughs> You know, I could watch you eat that banana all night long. Uh, what slasher movie villains are really thinking while they're waiting to pop out? Man, I gotta go. Wanna squeeze my niblets? I want to make love to you. You and your little dog. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> Come on. All the better to eat you with. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Well, throw a rope over the rafters and hang me high. Welcome to the party. It's so nice to be here. Look at yourself in the mirror. You should, you should really kiss your reflection. This town is so big enough for the two of us. You're not the cowboy from the village people, are you? <laughs> All the characters in a gay western. Like, you know, we've seen gay westerns, right? Who has it? I'm gonna f you away. We've got to get out of here. We have to escape the snowy wilderness. Quick! The snowmobiles! Damn! Damn, Ma! 
Mine's, mine's flipped over. Why don't we sneak in to that igloo and see if there's anybody there who'll help us? I'm stuck! I'm in! I'm inside! Tony, oh, if you need me! They're in the way! They're coming down the hill of guns! I'm almost done. <laughs> All right. What? Oh, you're a secret agent. All right. The Munchkins. What are they doing now? <laughs> it looks like you need a new muffler. <laughs> you forgot to give points, Mr. Carey. <laughs> Goldfish guy? No, no, uh. A series of. A series of. Undersea. Undersea creatures never seen before by man. Ma'am? She's choking on a hundred dollar bill. <laughs> Just choked to death on an Altoid. Really? Well, they are curiously strong. <laughs> What's our scene there, Wayne? Ryan is the volatile owner of an Italian deli showing his son, Drew, the tricks of the trade. Ring, 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 ring. Is the phone? Is it the phone? Yeah, the phone's ringing. I get to the phone. Yeah, no, 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 no. You told me I could never answer the phone. The phone. Can... Hello. There's nobody there, you little creep. Of course it's going to be so long to answer the phone. Of course there's nobody there. Cheesy. Oh, I love it, the cheesy. This is... Oh, oh. Oh, that's the cheesy. Oh, so nice. <laughs> I like the regular, a little, no, it's not enough. I like a little more than that. A little, is that a, empty yet? No, still there's some in there. Oh, there's still some in there. Oh, okay, I'm done. And now, why don't you give it that a bite? See if you like it that, huh? No, I, come on, a little bit more. Well, for you first. Okay, I take a little bite. Usually, I like a little more mustard on there than that. <laughs> it's okay, no, it's all, no, it's okay, no, I eat it like this. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. <laughs> what? A... <laughs> what a deep, sexy voice you have. Uh... I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs>
Man. Hey, Wayne, can I, I borrow one? that butt for the weekend? <laughs> Sorry, my brother. You got to get your own. <laughs> And we come up with the, as many examples as we can of the world's worst what, Wayne? World's worst psychiatrist. World's worst psychiatrist. I shall buzz you. Oh, well, you're nuts. <laughs> no, please continue. <laughs> oh, uh-huh, yeah. Sit down. Unusual ways for your optometrist to test your vision. <laughs> if Tarzan had appeared in other TV shows. Mm, yes, that final answer. <laughs> Me want boy go. It's a survivor thing. Me want boy. Unusual phrases to be teaching in an English as a second language class. Repete. Use your blinker. How are you? Good. I have to say, I love the sound of your doorbell. Stop that. Oh, sorry, I'm late. It must be. Three o'clock! <laughs> Who's your friend? Three o'clock, but it's time to... It's time for a little volleyball. I'll play. Woo! He's a good one. Oh, let me take off your coat. I wasn't aware I was wearing one. Come on, let's have some fun. Hold this. My mother says your mother... What's wrong with everybody here? Stay close! Sometimes the tongue takes you by surprise. As I wish. Oh, you're so close. I can't tell you. Well, you're just a nudist with a really big vocabulary. Oh, four o'clock. Take these horseshoes, go over there. Oh, you're he's the, the, he's you're the, the activities leader. <laughs>